Hi, today I'm going to show you a conductive pen from AGIC. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, I bought this on Kickstarter and it came from Japan. Now basically this allows you to make electronic circuits just by drawing them. So when you draw it's like having a wire except it's all done by this uh, silver ink. So I've got a piece of glossy photo paper here, a coin cell battery and then a small 1 watt LED. So let's go ahead and make a basic circuit. First thing I'm going to do is make an area for the battery to go. Okay, so this is our basic circuit. So let's add our battery. We just bend over the paper and then we put our LED on between the two traces. And you'll see, oops, it lights up like that. And if I lift the trigger from the battery, it turns on and off. Oops. So that's the most basic type of circuit you can make with this. Now you can get a lot more advanced. You can even buy this uh, as a printable item. So you can have an inkjet printer which actually prints this silver uh, conductive ink um, and make really advanced circuits. Um, in the welcome pack, they actually give you some of these. Now these are printed with the same ink that's inside this pen, so it's all conductive. Um, to show you that, I'll use my multimeter. So you hear my multimeter hopefully. Now let's test the USB business cards. Okay. <clears throat> Did you hear that? Our probe again. So, what are these all about? <clears throat> Actually, it's quite clever. This is a USB stick that you can plug into your computer. You'll connect an LED across these two points here and it will actually light up using the power from your computer. So, let's cut one out and give it a go. Okay, so here it is. You'll see that you'll probably recognize this as being a USB type plug. Uh, we bend over the paper just to make it a little bit thicker for when we put it inside the port. So I grab my laptop, USB port here. Let's start by just plugging it in. Oops cut it a little bit too wide so I have to trim it a little bit. There we go. Just try that again. There we go, that fits much better. So you can see it's now plugged into the USB port. Let's measure how much the voltage is. I'll just measure it here and then I'll show you. Okay, let me hold that. I can get that steady. 5.1 volts. Hopefully you can see that from there. Let me try to turn on the backlight. Okay, I've held it as well, so I can bring it closer to show you. Can you see that? So it's measuring the power from the USB and it is like now let's try and connect our little LED onto there and see if it lights up. There you go. You see that? If I remove it, put it back. So there you go, it's drawing power from the computer's USB port and uh, we're using it to light this LED, so that's pretty clever. Now, you might be looking at this and thinking, that's good, it's clever, but how much power could you actually put through this? Well, that's a good question, let's test it out. Okay, so here I've got a 12 volt battery, 
a fan which is rated at 12 watts, uh, 12 volts, 12 watts, and uh, we're going to try and put the power through two rails using the AGIC uh, conductive pen. So let's draw the two rails. Now, I actually tested this earlier and I managed to get the paper smoking. It got so hot that it actually started smoking. So uh, let's connect our battery power. Like that, just clipped onto the paper. And then let's connect our fan. In fact, I just need to bring those traces to the end of the paper. Okay, let's try it out, let's connect it. Oops, wow, it's getting hot. So it's not actually transferring enough power to turn the fan on, but the paper is getting, oops, it's getting pretty hot. I think it won't be long before we see this burn out. You can see already the line starting to appear where it's burning through the paper. The fan is trying to draw power, but the traces just aren't big enough to carry that much power. So it's just getting very, very, ouch, very, very, very hot. Let's leave it a while and see what happens. You can see already the paper underneath is melting, and I can hear little sparks. And sometimes if you look at the silver on top, you'll see it kind of bubble a little bit. So let's just leave this and see what happens. No, I think it's burnt out completely. It's already stopped, stopped getting hot. So let's take a closer look at that. You can see the silver on top has bubbled a bit and underneath the paper is starting to melt away. But I know it can power this fan, so let's try again, but use slightly thicker traces. So I'll cut a piece of the paper. And again, I'll draw traces onto it. This time I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. So I'm going to draw the two lines like that. And then I'm going to go over them again after a few seconds once it's dried. Okay. And I'm just going to trim the paper so that the traces go all the way to the end. So here's our new one. This one is basically dead. You won't be able to put any more power through this. It's completely dead. So let's connect our battery. So our battery is just clicked on there, just like before. And now let's connect our fan. There you go. This time the fan has started. paper is starting to warm up. This fan is definitely not at its full speed, so it's not getting the 12 watts that it needs, <clears throat> but it is running. It's getting very hot in the back, and I can see a burn mark start to appear. But it is still running. Oops, until then. Okay, and that's it. Game over again. The paper is pretty hot. Didn't get as hot as the last one. Um, but again, you can see a little brown mark there, which is where it burns out, and it's bubbled on top and the paper has melted a bit. So, how much power can you put through it? Not that much, uh, but a couple of watts, two to three watts, you can put through this, even with a, a single stroke of the pen. Uh, I've managed to put three watts through it and it didn't melt. Uh, it didn't even get hot, to be honest, it just warmed up a little bit. So, there you go. Okay. 
So how about through-hole components? I already showed you a surface mount LED. How about if you have a LED like this where you want to put the legs through here? Well, this is the business card I showed you earlier. I've connected a couple alligator clips and a little coin cell battery instead of running it from a USB port. So let's insert the LED and see what happens. So you can see it can kind of work if it's at an angle where the leg is going to be touching the, uh, the conductive ink but really it's not so reliable it doesn't really work so how about soldering can you solder to this conductive ink onto this paper don't know let's find out so I've got my soldering iron here I've put down a piece of card just to protect my table uh, let's try and solder the LED Well, it looked like it was going to work, but then didn't. Let's, uh, ooh, tss, that's hot. Let's just remove the solder from there. Let's double check that the card is still working. I don't know if the heat damaged the silver. It looks like the heat from the soldering iron damaged it because if I try and connect the LED up here there's no power you see it doesn't light up but if I connect it closer down here before the soldering you'll see that I'm not sure how well you see it on camera but it is actually lighting up but down this end it's not lighting up anyway let's try again up here I'm very curious to see if we could make it work it looked like it was going to work so just push the LED through Okay, so it's in place again. Let's try and solder that. Well, it might just have worked. Oops. It's not the most solid connection ever. Um, it doesn't really doesn't really join with the uh, the pen. Let's give it a second to cool down and see if it can actually hold. Maybe with some practice you could actually solder to this uh, conductive pen. No. Uh, no, it's, it's really not joining with the conductive pen. Um, it melted a little bit to the paper which helped hold it in place but it's, it's not joining. So can you solder to the pen connections? No, you can't basically. Now I know what you're wondering. Do you have to use the glossy photo paper or could you put it on something else? Maybe cardstock or some kind of plastic which is a little bit stronger than the, uh, the glossy photo paper. Well, let's try it out. I put a line on the glossy photo paper. I put a line on this blue cardboard down here and then I've just got this plastic bag I'll put a line on there now you can see it comes out kind of brown when you put it on any material that isn't the original photo paper so let's use our multimeter on the photo paper first there you go works fine let's try on the cardboard 
Nope. Nothing at all. Let's try on the plastic. Nothing. No deal. So, hmm. It appears that it really does only work on the photo paper. Um, I tried it on my skin. I'll show you. you. You probably don't want to try this because it might be toxic, but we'll just try this. See? Nothing. Um, another thing you might be wondering is how fast does it dry? Well, there's a line I've already done. Let me do another line. One, two. See, wiped my finger over there and it's still there. So it dries pretty much instantly and it's ready to use straight away. So what do I think about the conductive pen? Well, there's a few of them out there on the market. Um, none of them are that cheap. You're looking at 10 to 20 dollars for a pen like this. Um, and do they work? Yeah, of course, you can see they work. Um, but what's the point, really? You know, they say it's for making fast prototypes, but it's not that fast. Everything has to be surface mount. You can't use through hole components. And when you're talking about surface mount components, they're minuscule. They're really, really tiny, which means you need some kind of magnifying glass and tweezers. It's very awkward and time consuming. Why not just use a breadboard? It's so much quicker. Uh, you just push in your connectors, add your components, and it's really simple and quick to test. Whereas this thing, anything more complicated than a basic circuit to light up an LED, it's going to be a nightmare. You know, yeah, it's easy to draw and it's fun. Maybe for kids, you know, it's something you could show them and make a birthday card that lights up or something. But really, I can't see the point in these. Um, they can only draw on this specific paper, uh, because one thing I was thinking, oh, it would be useful for PCBs, especially homemade PCBs, where maybe you have a break in the trace, or you find out that, hey, I wish I had made that trace a little bit thicker for it to carry more power. But no, they can only be used on this specific photo paper. So, sorry, but I don't see the point. How about you? If you had one of these, or if you have one of these, what do you use it for? What would you use it for? I can't think of any useful thing um, at all, to be honest. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please give a thumbs up and remember to subscribe.